Oh, Brad, this has been sitting out all summer. Is there any way that you could take a sharpened best and like get it started? I believe I can. Now, if the points and the condenser and the gas is okay, the carburetor isn't too bad, it'll start. <laughs> okay. So that thing is rusty. Oh my goodness, it is. All right, so let's get you in the sun. And I'm gonna carve on this hatchet a little bit. Just like that, and come back this way. You see that color changing? Oh man, is it ever. And I'm putting some pressure on it, trying to kind of control it, but put a lot of pressure on it. Because right now I need to, first of all, you got to cut through the rust. And go right on around like that. Come back this way. Considerable difference. Show us the difference of the sides when you do that. Okay, so you got that side. And you have this side. Wow, that's like really bad right there. Naughty, naughty. So, we just go like this. I'm going to come back this way for a little bit, pressing hard enough to cut, just like that. I know it won't cut me. A lot of people, well, you do a lot of stuff towards yourself, towards your hands, things like that. Well, I do that because I know what I'm doing, and I know what the results are going to be, and I know that there's basically no chance of getting cut myself because of what I'm doing, because I control the object that I'm moving towards myself. So it's just that simple. All right, just like this. Do I teach children to cut towards themselves? No. But as they get older and control the knife and things better uh, than they can, you know, if they choose to. So just like that. And like this. Okay, now, I'll hold still and you kind of get a view of that side and that side. What a difference. All right, let's see if it's even slightly ready. Okay, it will hang on and it will get a hold of the fingernail. sharpensbest.com sharpensbest.com YouTube sharpensbest I'll see you there